You gotta, you wanna do a thing? Tell, tell me a story. Oh, I'm Wait, just... okay, it's level. <laughs> now tell me a story. Oh. This morning, went to the Asian market, went and got myself some quail eggs. Quail eggs, you say? So I just wanted to try quail eggs, and they had them for $2.50 a dozen, which doesn't sound like a lot of money, right? Yeah. Maybe those quail eggs are like... <laughs> like, a dozen quail eggs is like, I think, like two normal eggs. <laughs> But anyways, and then I was looking at their treats and stuff, and I was like, oh, they have taro buns. Like a big bun that got some filling inside there. Sat down on my computer, editing some pickies, eating the taro bun, drinking the iced coffee. I got halfway through the taro bun, and then I realized there was like a bunch of mold on the bottom of it, and uh, it was kind of sad. <laughs> Because I, I ate a bunch of mold for breakfast. Is and then it, I mean, the bun was good. It still tasted fine. <laughs> like one time I think I ate like an eighth pound of raw pork one time when I was a little kid. Okay, but also you have a box. <laughs> what's up, guy? <laughs> hey, what's up? Also, I did not look into this box. I did not open this box. This is literally how it came to my house. I don't know what happened to the glue on here. It's it's been hot lately. It's been very hot. It's on the you got me a, like it's 2019, yeah. but I'm excited to have a 32 gig card. It's compact flash. Cause that's what the 5D Mark II takes. But so I've been using a 4 gig which can hold like 120 pictures. So this should hold a couple thousand pictures. That's more than I'll ever need. Compact flash card. A new vape. Wait, no. A USB 3 reader. TFSD, MS, CF, sports hot swapping. I'm reading the back of it right now. <laughs> but it's 3.0. So this does five gigabit. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, it's that cheap metal. It's brushed cheap metal, which I hate the feeling of. I left to cover this with something. Look, blue USB 3. So now it doesn't take, <laughs> oh, when I had the USB 1 reader, it would literally take transferring 10 pictures. 10 minutes. Picture a minute. Here's a fun little strap I bought that I didn't look at very hard before ordering, and I thought it was a neck strap, but it's like this sling. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen photographers use those. Which, I mean, I guess I'm fine with that. Nice and aesthetic. It mounts on the tripod mount. 2013 Tumblr floor print. Yeah, the camera setup is really heavy. Like these. Big and like boys. just on the neck strap. It's very, very uncomfy. So let's see. Where it looks like. Wait, I'm confusion. It is just a neck strap? I'm. Oh, I see. Okay, wait, no, no, no. You can use it as like just a neck strap. It's supposed to go like this. And then there's a. Uh... Do you know how these work? I'm a professional. So it, it goes... I think this is supposed... Like this is supposed to slide through something or other. I don't... Turns out, you can just use it as a normal neck strap, which is what I will do. I gotta figure it out. It's just... These are like locks, and you can just adjust it. And there's a thing... There is a strap to hold it so this doesn't move around, but... Good enough for me. But it, it's got neoprene and it's stretchy and it's very much more comfortable than the stock. There's one more thing in there, but that's the, the piece de la resistance. I also have a lack of lenses. I have one incredibly nice lens for it and not a lot of other lenses. So I got a... <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing. <laughs> a Yihan. Not the Ken channel. Lens adapter. Now what does that do? It adapts lenses, yeah. <laughs> this side of it is for a Canon camera. This side of it is an M42 screw mount, which is a majority of the old vintage lenses I have. Uh, hey, what's up, guy? It's getting hotter and hotter in here by the minute. So, they're like yeah. the same, same mount. This has a autofocus assist chip on it. So, that goes into your camera body. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vintage screw mount lens will probably set that down. So that goes. There you go. Now I have a vintage lens on a cannon. So what does the AF Assist chip do? Yeah, you're out of focus now. And then once you're in focus, it's dark in here. Brick, why? Because well, one, you can't buy 55 millimeters anymore. They just don't make them. They made them once. Vintage glass is still good glass. 
lenses. Very nice lenses. <laughs> what you you're using the peaking from the GH5 to find the focus? Well, anyways, so old lenses are good lenses. They're good lenses, Bron. You can literally get them at thrift stores, pawn shops, and the adapters are cheap. This adapter with autofocus assist was like $12. You buy like a $10 camera at your savers or your Goodwill. You find an old Honeywell Pentax with a nice, what, the, what is this, a 1.8? Yeah, you can find like 1.4s, 1.2s, 1.1s. It's a little hard to shoot with because you gotta be kind of like, but with the autofocus assist chip, it's basically, you're the motor. It'll tell you when it's in focus, and they sometimes give you very interesting images. Older lenses have old coatings on them too, or sometimes they're missing their coating, or they have like deep gouges, or maybe a bit of like haze in them. You just get a bunch of these lenses, and it's sort of a crapshoot on whether they're good or not, but like a lens of that caliber with autofocus now would be a few hundo bucks. Okay. It's not. I think the, uh, what are they called space between? Flange distance. Yeah, flange distance was not close enough on that one. One of the reasons when people ask me, like, what kind of camera should I get for starting out, I always tell them Canon. Canon over Nikon. In this day and age now, where the old models of them are getting so cheap now, you can get a 5D full frame for like 200 bucks. And that's a good deal. And then the flange distance with them. But Nikon, it's really hard to adapt lenses to Nikons. With Canon, you can adapt pretty much any lens to them. It's fun, Canons are fun. And then, yeah, like the 50mm 1.8, you can find them used under 100 all day. All right, you got one and now, thing. what is this? Well, no, I still need to unbox it. <laughs> Made a mess in your apartment. I'm not slamming it on. This is something I've been having my eye on for a while. Something we've needed. I'm not slamming it on. The big old sticker says made in China. This is the, I need a knife. So this is the Mivatar Bowling BLP1 Vlogger, which I wish it didn't say vlogger. This is like 160 bucks, which you may think is a little expensive for a little boy like this, but this bad boy can fit so much features in it. There's a little tool. There's a little wrench. It's got some arms so you can mount it wherever. Good golly, Miss Molly, that's bright. That's, that's, the weird thing is, look, it doesn't look like it's putting out that much light. But then when you turn it, you're like, oh my sweet Satan, that's putting out some light. Yeah, Ooh, the dimmer thing. dial is like, oh, there's one. This is one. I need to read a book under the covers. I can't find out. Let me see that for a second. That'll, that'll do the trick. We're at 400 ISO, 3.3 aperture, 100 shutter speed. As much light as you would need. Get, we, get, give it. All right. Um, oh, thanks. so this is 5600K. You can scroll all the way. Oh, wow. 2500K? That's that's about, that's more yellow than those. Hang on. So if I switch it back, I'm on daylight, but if I switch it back to incandescent. Yeah, you are a little yellower than those lights. Just go through. So like 2500, 8500? That is the whitest white I've ever seen in my life. Okay, it looks blue on here. Let me switch it back. This is like hospital lights. You know what I mean? Where everything, like, it, this is pretty cool. It's got some features. So it's got RGB. But here's the thing. It's got HSL. And if you don't know what that is, that's hue saturation luminance. It's got a little gauge on the back. Yeah. I'm showing you this color strip on the back where it's actually got all the color temps for RGB just like set in degrees. So like, so your hue is, it goes from zero to like, and then 360. We're still getting there, there you go. So you got 360 degrees. It's literally like a color wheel, but there's a little gauge on the back. So like, give me, give me, give me a color, Ben. Aquamarine. Uh, is that like green blue? There we go. And then. Yeah, setting it to daylight temperature shows the colors better. So that's this is full saturation. It's about halfway. Does it just mix in white until it's desaturated? Yeah, it just dials in more white. Well, I guess it doesn't have luminance. Wouldn't either. that just be the brightness in this case? Yeah. So you just dim it. <laughs> so it does have HSL. Big reason I bought this. This is. 
the same light Brandon Wolfel uses. But he d he uses this to replace like neon lights. It gives that aesthetic. Let me see it for a second. We're down in downtown Cyberpunk Bar. Whoa, yeah, that's cool. So Brandon Wolfley uses this. Some reviewer said, oh, it's got this belt strap. I don't know how many people would use that. This is a molly strap for like molly webbing. Hmm. Not a belt strap. Whoever said that. I mean, you could use it as a belt strap. Oh, there's also more into it. Oh, this is just the little mounting boy. Yeah, so it's got a physical... Like, this isn't going to get accidentally turned on. So one of the... Gosh, it's so bright. So it's got like a mounting bracket. The cold shoe, baby. But since this arm is the way it is, set it up like that. Like it's, the way they've built this is, is really versatile. Like you could mount this on your camera like this and have this kind of off center. Yeah. So it's not directly over. That's cool. One of the cool things, it's got some goof modes. Oh, so like an RGB. Party mode. Slow RGB, slow cycle. Welcome, children. Hello. I like how our eyes perceive some colors, like that purple, right there. That's, I am blind. Spook. All right, there's a candle mode. Wait, so this is supposed to be like a... The candle light thing, that's pretty cool. And then there's policia lights, whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. And this is like supposed to be, yeah, I think this is ambulance because ambulance doesn't do red. And then this is fire truck. Huh. There's three more modes. So that was, there's a cycle mode, RGB cycle slow, RGB cycle fast, candlelight. And then there's, it looks like a little siren thing. And this one is lightning effects. Where's the lightning gun? Oh. So that's A, this is B, which is just, I think, a bit... Bigger storm? And then, there's a C? It's oh, wait, is this the TV one? Oh, this is the TV one, yeah. So it's supposed to be like... I mean, yeah. Let me relight the scene. Uh, people say, turn it on full power, you get about two hours of battery life. This says 140 minutes, but... It's got temperature protection. Oh, it uses USB-C to charge. Yeah, 2,500 to 8,500K. For 150 bucks, that's a yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Brandon Wolfel uses it. Oh, it comes with the cable. I don't know why it wouldn't. There you go. Always have that in my camera bag from now on. Pretty neat light. It's something I've wanted, and it's something Ben could probably use a lot. So that's a bunch of new stuff I got. I've been really trying to get back into the photography game. I have a new Instagram, time to flex. Just started a new Instagram last night for strictly photography. It's just brick.rigby. Same with Facebook, if you wanna follow me there. If you wanna follow me on those platforms, that'd be cool. If this is your first video, like you saw that like we're unboxing stuff and you're like, ooh, photography unboxing. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Go watch Brick Wheelie some scooters. What's up, guy? This isn't really what we do here. It was kind of fun though, but... Alright, it's too much. Wait, wait, we'll, we'll, no... Finish it up. Alright, well, that's it for today. Also, yeah, I don't know when this is coming out, but yeah, we'll probably just mention it in a bunch of videos. We took a bit of a hiatus. Sort of unplanned, a lot of things came up, but we're back now. Also, a new apartment for me. This new. is mine now. That's <laughs> just trash. <laughs> It's just, you haven't okay, unpacked it. Very nice, clean room. <laughs> you haven't unpacked your stuff. It's a pile of trash. <laughs> At least this place has two pools, am I right? Wasting away again in But that's it for this episode. I love you. Thanks for sticking around watching me do a terrible unboxing of a bunch of cool stuff for my camera. If you want to see last week's video, Click over there somewhere. If you want to watch whatever YouTube is like, this is probably cool, click over there. <laughs> it has never changed. It has never not been right here to subscribe. It's every YouTube ever made has their subscribe in the middle. <laughs>